It's now 11.30 a.m. on the 30th of July and Bureau of Meteorology has said that we had minus 6.5 at the airport but I reckon we again had minus 8 because look what happened to my sedifolium or even colder because it was okay before in here when we had the recent minus 8 now it looks a bit worse for wear I hope you recover because <laughs> you are a very challenging plant to grow for my area. They don't like the cold. Hello, Ming Ting. You're still alive and all red. Two of them. The other one sort of covered and shaded. Ionium sunburst. It's still alive, but you can see that it is really, that one is still, I'm not even going to touch it. But before, the, the Big Bang is fine. And also, they're alive. They have recovered. My super bum. They're looking healthier. On the fence here, okay, you can see that the sun is just about to hit. See the edges of the plant here? But that one there is still in the shade. I picked this up earlier while I'm having my coffee and this still got frost. Got still ice. <laughs> still ice on my Texas rose. This is the only Texas I think I still got one somewhere, but this one is... Look at that. Can you still see the frost? Look at that. Ah. Oh my poor frozen <laughs> texas rose but i'm gonna put it back there because it's supposed to well i love the plant before i even propagate or buy some more i would really like to know how hardy they are my sedum is all dead but it's not it's just go through that process where in in winter they die down but those are living plants in there so I don't touch that until springtime. They'll start waking up and coming back. And in summer is when they become on fire. Like that one is still on fire. That's the color they normally have in summer, but only thicker. And the sedum lucidum, you are so gorgeous, beautiful. In the shade, it's still, well, it still get midday sun in summer. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, 11.30, and look at it. We're still not getting sun. This one is in full sun. It's all blistering red. So, ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, gorgeous. But they do get hit by the frost a little bit, but the colors. So, it's worth sacrificing them, but they have to be planted in a pot because if you put them in the garden, they will just go boring green. Nixana, beautiful. Now, that's still frostbite. <laughs> How can you even tell? So that one is sort of colder than this one here. That one here in the bottom is more warmer. <laughs> it's more warmer. It's a little bit warmer compared to that other one. Those two, that one there and that one there and that one there, they're all frostbitten. They're really cold, cold, cold. But the one at the back is sort of 60% okay, 40%, still a little, maybe 30%. Chrissy and Ryan, I thought it's a purple prolifica, but it's shaped like a prolifica, but it's smaller, only because I haven't been watering it. And my Warfield Wonder, hello. Oh, Glitter, are you Glitter? Warfield Wonder, one of them too. Oh, here's the Glitter, sorry. That's Glitter. It did get hit by the frost before, so now I put it somewhere where there's overhead covering. So it can just stick its tongue out with the frost, but it's still fine. And Glutinicaule is going pink. This is my second or third Glutinicaule. Third. Needs to be watered. And all the wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly bits on the leaves that needs to be soaked. This now. Sedum dasifilum, this is now lilac mound, that one, I got that one from Kanya, and this is my other lilac mound, because I got a major and a minor now, so these ones are lilac mounds, beautiful color. My sedum clavatum is perfectly fine now, so despite the fact that having uh, been frozen a week ago or so, a few days ago, I would just say, because I can't remember exactly. I, I know it's over a week. But anyway, this one now, was it the 16 or 17, something like that? Yeah, and then now it has recovered. Now got hit by the frost ever so slightly just on the tip here, but it's fine. And I move it around because this one got severely hit by the frost. But look at it now. It has fully recovered. So they get acclimatized. 
to the area and after putting them through the ringer they will become hardened or able to survive they can tell now oh it's going to be cold again so i better sort of curl up and warm up to conserve my energy so i don't die from the frost cubic frost here is fine this is like armageddon plants and it's so beautiful i will be planting a lot more or propagating this is all propagation now so i'll be planting a lot more of my cubic frost it has become i remember when they used to be 40 dollars a plant and you can't even find one for love or money but now they have become very very common so it's like one plant beautiful plant like this is five dollars and which is good but they grow so fast as well and that's one of the reasons why the prices has come down my setosa variety oteroi i have actually hidden it here because i don't want it to die on me especially with the babies and that is fine and the rest of the gang already left it out here taking it from inside because except that one what are you moon river got hit by the frost i chopped the head off because the fungus nuts or something ate it aphids i think aphids ate it and by the time i discovered it it's already nibbled off you see the tips there but i was hoping it will grow if it doesn't that's fine because thin leaf echeverias like the berkeley lights as well that got hit by the frost so any plants even though that's expensive i paid i don't know 45 dollars even if they die on me i don't worry too much at least i get to know that i can't grow them in my area unless i've got a greenhouse which probably i'm considering of getting one but for now i'm not gonna worry about it and this area now i am finding any plants i put in here just colors up whether it'll be sedum clavatum or what are you titubans well titubans is frost hardy anyway and leticia especially leticia it's challenging to grow leticia they can only handle a certain coldness low temperature but once it goes past minus six they just turn black and die but they are so beautiful but if i grow them in this area oh hang on are you still frosty a little bit of no yeah no that's fine so even Rolly as well, look how beautiful that is. It's like little candy. So certain spot in my garden, they get hit by the frost or they suffer from the frost. But in this area, they seem to like it. Even the hairy ones, look. So I will be putting more plants in here and changing it. All these plants, isn't it? But it's just a matter of finding the time to do it. And the Rose Queen over there, oh, look how beautiful. Oh, no, it's not Douglas Hut. <laughs> it's just the purpleness and look <laughs> Tito Buns, look how beautiful you look and all my agavoides I think a lot of these are red uh, edge or lipstick and Frank Brazen Beauty actually that one there I think is Brazen Beauty look at that it's beautiful but anywho that's all I've got just a short video just a quick inspection but before I do that I'll go check up the top Nova what else do I have hiding here oh my Martin's hybrid is fine. The one at the back there, I think that's lemon and lime. So it still gets hit by the frost a certain amount. And Jin Mitenio, look how beautiful that is. You're such a beautiful bird, Pedro. Look at you. Pretty boy. Hello, pretty boy. Hi, pretty boy. Oh, what's that? What is that, baby pea? What is that? There's a bird outside. There's a bird. Did you see the bird? Let's say hello to the bird. Hey, you fat so look at you. Look at your poopy. Fat so bird. Fat so bird. 